The controversial video of law enforcement agents serving a search warrant at the home of a former state data scientist has now been viewed tens of thousands of times and has enraged quite a few people. Today, the commissioner of the Department of Law Enforcement broke his silence defending his agent's conduct and suggesting there's more to the Rebecca Jones story than meets the eye. News for Jacks reporter Mike Veselenda tells us the governor has also weighed in. The Department of Law Enforcement says its agents waited for more than 20 minutes before Rebecca Jones, suspected of sending an unauthorized message on a state platform, opened the door for police to serve a search warrant. He just pointed a gun Rebecca. at my children! On Twitter, she's called them Gestapo and attacked their motives. Nowhere in either one of those videos do you see an agent pointing a gun at a child's head. Now the Department of Law Enforcement is telling us it's standard procedure for guns to be drawn every time a search warrant is served. During that 23 minutes, every hard drive in that apartment could have been wiped. They could have been arming themselves. They could have been barricading themselves. FDLE says Jones has a history of attacking police, citing a 2015 incident when she refused to leave her office at Louisiana State after being dismissed. When he advised her she was under arrest, she resisted. She kicked him in the groin. And Jones continues to fight a 2019 misdemeanor stalking charge over an encounter with a former lover. The governor today praising the way agents acted. I mean, when they're smeared unfairly, uh, that's not something that we want. Only Agriculture Commissioner Nikki Freed, who oversees FDLE as a cabinet member, has doubts. When there's children in the home, uh, the highest level of concern um, needed to have been addressed. FDLE would not comment on the specifics of the case or what they found on the computers they seized, saying only the investigation is ongoing. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, Channel 4, the local station. So far, Jones has not returned our phone call or text messages seeking her response.